Hi everyone, this is Kim from Kim Holland Homes working at Exit Realty Premier. And thank you so much for coming back and looking at another video of mine. I hope that these are informative uh, for you and I really enjoy making them. So I'm glad you're back. Um, if you like what I have to say, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you always know as soon as I post a new video. So this video is really going out to the sellers. It's going to be about what a seller should be aware of when the contract goes out to, um, to the buyer. A lot of sellers don't actually review the contract before it goes out to the buyers. They just feel that the attorney can take care of it. Um, but it's really important that the wording in the contract is actually what you need depending upon the deal that you have. So there's one word in the contract that is actually called contingency. It's a contingency clause. And let's say that you have a buyer that wants to buy your house and uh, they're selling their house. You could put a contingency clause in there that says that them selling their house isn't contingent upon them purchasing your house. The reason why you would want to do something like that is because let's say um, their house isn't on the market yet. You have to wait until they actually list the property, then they do open houses, then they get someone to buy it, go through the inspection, negotiations, buyer has to get a commitment. So that could add a lot of time onto your process of selling your home. And again, it all depends upon what the scenario is of how quickly you want to get out of the home. Uh, in addition, if their house, let's say, is on the market, is the person that's buying your buyer's home, are they selling a home? Because if they're selling a home, now you have the buyer buying that home, then you have the buyer buying the house of your buyer's home, and you have your buyer buying your home. So now you have a four-way transaction of what you need for somebody to buy your home. So I did write something um, in the past about highest offer isn't the best offer. This would, might be one of those scenarios where this might be the highest offer that you have, but it might not necessarily be the scenario that you need to move on with your life and to do what you need to do um, by having it be such, such a, uh, you know, such a transaction um, continuing and on in four different ways. So you definitely want to make sure that word contingency, um, if you do decide to go with somebody who has to sell a house, you want to make sure you review with the attorney exactly what that word means. Should you have it in the contract? Should you not have it in the contract? Let's say that it's actually a cash offer. There's also something you should know with the cash offer and you know, you live and learn and it happened on a deal that I had a couple years ago. Um, the seller used her own attorney. It was nobody that I had suggested, um, felt very comfortable with them and you know, no fault of anybody's, but it didn't play out the way that she expected. So the offer was a cash offer. They were supposed to close in 30 days and there's these, another key word in a contract, on or about. So normally when someone is buying a house and they're getting a mortgage, there's an honor about day. Um, doesn't really have to do with the mortgage, but it has to do with the fact that the date that's on the contract, either the seller or the buyer both have 30 days, just in case something comes up, um, 30 days after that contract date to actually uh, go to the closing table. So this person um, placed a cash offer on our house. They had a house to sell. It was not contingent on them selling their house. They were getting cash from stocks or bonds or wherever they were pulling the cash from. We did know that they were selling their house though. And in the middle of the deal, um, it did say on or about, didn't say on or before. And they decided that they wanted to take the money from the sale of their house. So they used the extra 30 days that they had that was on the contract. And they waited until they sold their house, took the proceeds from that, and what it ended up doing was it actually cost my seller, um, you know, seven or eight thousand uh, dollars. She paid two months more of property taxes on a house she wasn't living in. So other words in a contract, super important, are on or about, on or before. So that, along with contingency, um, you definitely want to make sure you go over those things with your attorney and you know what the scenario is that you need the contract to say in order for you to move forward. 
Lastly, I just want to confirm with you sellers that using me as a real estate agent, you're going to be completely educated. You're going to know as much as you could possibly know about the entire transaction. So when you are working with your attorney, um, every person has their job to do in this transaction. And when it's time for you to sit with your attorney and go over the contract that's being sent out to the other side, you want to make sure that the attorney knows the, um, you know, the terms that were presented um, with the offer um, that the buyer, the terms that were presented at the time that the buyer offered and whether or not um, there's a timing issue, um, there's a home sale issue, all of those things should be presented to the attorney when you speak to them. So thank you so much. I'm glad that you watched the video again. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you click notifications, you'll definitely be notified as soon as I post a new video. So thank you so much and have an amazing day.